Right, man, I'm ready to get to it, man. I got something for you, man, for your beloved Lakers. You know, you love the Lakers. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I got something for you, man, because uh, they've been in a slump. Superman, Superman, you're in a slump. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll get to it. Well, today on um, Brother vs. Brother Podcast, we are talking about Ja Morant, the L.A. Lakers, and the Florida State Seminoles, but they a little soft ass. <laughs> but, uh, bro, um, you ready to get into these topics, man? I'm ready. You, you, you ain't really been getting too much sports in um, this week, man. You've been working like a Hebrew slave. Yeah, man. Peak season, man. So we working 12 hours a day, five, six days a week. See, I ain't yeah. got no haircut or nothing. I'm going to tighten up, though, when it's over with. <laughs> Me neither, don't feel bad, man. It's been a rough week, bro. It's been a rough week, man. So you ain't been able to catch Harley. No sports? Uh, not much. Mostly highlights and and late games, but for the most part, nah. But you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep up with the news though. So so what, what about that fight? It was it was Utah? Was it Utah? Who was it? It with the, was with the fight. South Alabama and Yeah, South Seas, South Alabama. Was it East Michigan or something yeah, like that? Eastern Michigan, yep. And what and what and what happened with the fight? What, what did you see when you watched that? What I saw was a team celebrating after a win, and I don't know what happened during the game to make Buddy react the way he did. But as a team celebrating with the band and all that stuff, he just come from behind, zeroed in on he wanted to zero in on, and he stole Buddy. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you know. Like real quick, they got on his ass like white on rice, and I'm meaning the no, guy, no. <laughs> the guy that hit him, the other guy's teammate instantly turned around and went to plumbing him. They put that thing on they him. They put that thing on him. So it was, it was definitely uh, keeping it real goes wrong. Well, before we get into our main topics, let me ask you real quick: Have you, have you, um, have you seen a lack of bowl play? By players, have you been hearing rumors about players opting out and they don't want to play? Even players that's not going into the draft. Yeah, I have, man. And um, I guess um, it's just a part of the college game now. When you're playing these lesser interesting bowls and, you know, these seniors and, and, and guys that think they're going to the NFL or entering the transfer portal, they don't want to participate. So, yeah, I have heard that. And as a fan of college football, how does that make you feel as a fan? Do you feel like, okay, players, here it is. Y'all, 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 y'all got the portal now. You don't have to wait the year no more. Like, come on, y'all keep taking less and less and less. I mean, giving us less and less and less, but taking more and more and more. Like, do you feel like, come on, players, no, you, you got to give your fans this, or you, or you feel like it's just a business decision? Bro, I'm going to keep it real with you. I feel like it is a business decision, but I also feel like most of these games these players are opting out of a goddamn the, the, the Piggly Wiggly Bowl. <laughs> I ain't watching that bullshit anyway. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Long as the top bowl games players ain't opting out of those, I don't care about the mother game because me personally – I'm not watching it, but I hate for I hate it for the um, fans of those teams that are watching it. But long as it ain't the Sugar Bowl, you know the college playoffs. I feel kind of bad what I'm hearing about the Georgia Florida State game. I feel kind of bad, but um, like we got our USC and um, I think USC plays. It's a good one. Is, is it safe to say that anything that was in the top ten, even if they, even if they ain't make the college playoff, it's going to be probably be in, I mean, top twenty. Really, it's going to be interesting bowl games. Uh, I'll narrow down the top ten, man. Top twenty. You know, a lot of these guys they making a the bowl game, winning six games in a season. So, who in the top twenty? <laughs> Six and six. For, you you are eligible for a bowl game at the Georgia State. They just played in the bowl game. But they ain't in the top. But they ain't Coastal in the top. Carol. But they're not in the top twenty. I'm talking about teams in the top. Cause yeah, I think if it's in the top twenty, it's still gonna be like ten teams because you no know, for for twenty teams to play, I be I mean, ten. You no, know, you feel what I'm saying? Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah. 
top twenty. Yeah, I want to watch. Even uh, I want to watch some of those games. Yeah, some of those. You definitely want to watch it. You definitely want to watch the CFP though. The, the playoffs. Be and honest. Then, only game I'm interested in is the New Year's Eve, New Year's Day games. Bowl you, games. You interested if if Georgia and Florida play? You interested in that game too? As a Georgia fan, we play for championships, man. <laughs> <laughs> We play for championship. Yes, I'm a fan. I'm interested in that game, but after hearing with Florida State, what they got going on, I'm in, I'm interested as a fan, but I don't know if it's going to be a game. It's going to be a game, but I don't know if it's going to be a, a, a evenly caliber game. Let me say that. Well, we're going we're gonna to get on that because I have an opinion about that, and it's probably going to shock you, but I have a theory about that game and more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I got you know I got a theory about okay. that. Okay, I, 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 I got a theory too about okay. y'all game. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, let's get let's get to uh, oh 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 uh, Ja Ja. Okay. Yeah, how you feel about Ja as a player? Man, I think Ja is playing very well right now. Very well. He's averaging. You know, I've been three games, but he's averaging twenty eight points a game, uh, nine assists, and six rebounds. So that's pretty good for not to be in playing. I know he's been practicing, but he hasn't played in 25 games. So I think he's doing very well. He hit a game winner his first game back. So um, I think Josh playing outstanding. Keep it up, young man. They 3-0 and since he's been back. He's the leader of the team, and he's um, putting so them on their back, and he's they, rejuvenated they, them. They haven't lost any since he's been back? They haven't lost any. They are 3-0. and they beat the Hawks last night. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Um, I mean, to understand him, we have to go back and talk about his past and what got him to the point where he was suspended. Uh, That's fair. And it just goes from instant. I'm not going to say all of them because it's too many to name, to be honest with you. But some of the notable ones I think they got him suspension were actually the, um, the gun – and uh, having a gun, allegedly having a gun in Denver – Colorado using um NBA resources to, to travel with the firearm. Right. Allegedly. They ain't never find him guilty on that one. Um a situation where a gun was briefly saw seen on a a, a, a video that, yeah, that his homeboy video. was some kind of live with a new song somebody uh one of these rappers came out with and they was just bobbing to the song and then right. he flashed the firearm. Um it was the incident with a team player that was playing a pickup game in his house, and yeah. the team player, I guess, was getting the best of Ja, and Ja went and got the strap. Hit him first, assaulted him, allegedly assaulted him, and then went and got the strap. Mm. It was a situation where um, his mother was in the mall. She got into it with somebody, and um, him and some of his guys went up to the mall, and they was threatening to beat security up and coming there with the straps or whatever. Uh, he getting sued for that incident too, as well as the team bro, incident. You, bro, you pretty much done went through all of it. Uh, no, I left one out. Um, <laughs> there was another incident when um, the Indianapolis the Indianapolis Pacers were um, leaving a game and um, yep, somebody had laser sure beams yeah. coming through their view. I mean, <laughs> so I said all that to say, um, you know, he he. He won that first game. He won the, the game winner, and he came out, and he, and he made a comment like, I got receipts. Okay. And to me, I mean, it, it was it was petty, but it, it goes to show you the mind state. You know, when somebody truly gets it, you, you don't talk no more. You just let your actions speak. And I, I, and I said to myself, somebody, one of these pundits going to say something about that little comment yeah. just to take away from a little shit. And it didn't take away that much. But Stephen A. Smith, one of the top dogs, did bring it up. Um, like, um, you know, who are you blaming for you showing the guns or, or, or all those things that I just named? So uh, moving forward, how had you think those suspensions, that suspension for the firearms, hurt the Grizzly chance of making it in the postseason? Well, I definitely think, you know, it 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 it, it hurt them. Where, where, where are they? they? They last, ain't they? No, I think the Spurs are last. Yeah, the Spurs and, are last. Spurs are yeah, last. Yeah, the Spurs are last. So um, I definitely think it hurt him. It hurt his team. It hurt his reputation. But um, 
he got time, man. He's a young man, and he has a a lot of time to 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 overcome what's been happening. Now I say that out of everything you name, everything's messed up. You know, you don't want to with the gun thing. You know, I have mixed emotions about it because besides the two main things I think he messed up on is. The incident with the young man, because at first they were saying he pistol whipping. Nah, Ja, you can't do that, man. You can't. Man, you know he hit that boy with that shot of me hard. You know he did it for you. Exactly. You, you, you can't do that, Ja. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can't do that. And then the other one, with moms, mom, your son is a multi-millionaire. He's a, 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 a superstar. I want to call him for that incident, because you know you know he going to act a fool about mama. So I wanted to call him if I was her and put him in that position. So, um, but those two things I think are, to me are the biggest one. I think all the other ones, he had, had got a bad rap because, you know, it, everything was compounding. So it, it was a bad rap for, but um, I don't know, man. Um. He still has time to recover. That 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 comment he made, I have no problem with it because I understand what you and Stephen A. are saying that you put yourself in this situation. Why are you keeping receipts? I think he more talking about is you know the tax on his family and everything. Um, because some of the criticism did go over the top. So um, I don't think there's nothing wrong with using that as motivation to be great to be better use that as motivation now you can't get in trouble you can't have guns you can't do the thuggish stuff and 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 say those type of thing you got to show it on the court but i have no problem with the his statement about keeping receipts whatever you need is motivation use it so understood ain't got to be explained he definitely needs to use uh you know being the redeemer uh coming coming uh People like the underdog, you know, yeah. and it's definitely to a certain extent. Now you can't. Certain people don't like the underdog if the underdog is always barking. If you know what I mean, they don't like a Draymond Green type underdog. They don't like a Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> but they cool. But it's with, Floyd an underdog though? He's fifty I mean, and zero. I, I mean, I mean not underdog with the fight, but underdog in status. You know I what I'm saying? You. They they, they always won't see you fall. So right. don't don't give them nothing. You know, so I'm not saying he has to no kiss no ass nothing like that, but. Hey, just have a whole different attitude about it. You know, come out here, you know, be a teammate to your to your team because that's who needs you. They're um, I think they're nine and nineteen now. So yeah. I mean, they're on a good tra- a track. You say won three straight games, but they they they're um third from the bottom and they got a long ways to go. So at the beginning of the season though, so they can do it. Yeah, it's the beginning of the season, but they they climb out a long hole. Definitely. And um. I gotta check to see the records of the team that they actually beat to see you know, how they you know played some stiff competition yet. Sticking up, speaking of stiff competition, <laughs> <laughs> you, yes, ready, sir. you ready for this, ain't you? I'm ready. Okay, here we go, man. Let, let me let me pull out my notes. I can see you. Don't go and pull it out. I, I, ain't, I, I ain't I ain't got my uh, <laughs> I ain't got my computer. I'm like skip. I got paper. <laughs> um. Your, your Lakers, man, they are one in, in, in four out of the last five games. Okay. Um, and the question, I'm, I'm going to get to the question in a second. They're, um, they're 15 and 14 on the season. Um, and they lost four in, in a row. And they, like I said, they're one and one in four actually in the last five games since the tourney. They're number nine in the West, and they're only one game ahead of, of Golden State, which I think is at the bottom of the bracket. Like, if the playoffs start today, I think they'd be one in under um, – They mean the play-in. The play-in. But no, that, yeah, no, the play-in, wherever. You know, they got yeah, the audience. Yeah. tournament. They, they would be, like, right like right there up on the goals to at the bottom. Uh, and then the teams they beat – who would they lose? They beat, they beat the um, – the, Spurs beat them, and the Spurs are four and twenty-four. Uh, the Knicks beat them. I think the Knicks are six in the East. The Bulls beat them. They're number ten in the East. They actually beat the Timberwolves, who are who are number one in the yeah. West, and they lost to the Thunder, who are number three in the West. So 
thing is, man, do you think Bronny in the game? They they lost to the Thunder. No, they won to the Thunder. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so I said in the last five games they they, they won one, which okay. was the Thunder, but they lost the other four. Okay. Including last place Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They, they we didn't have AD that game. <laughs> you gotta have what? AD didn't play that game. <laughs> but you know, it, it's understandable. He ain't gonna play a lot of games like this season. <laughs> Keep going. But uh question is, did the Lakers focus too much on the in um in um tournament? And um I say how they no blow, how, how they blow the head gasket. I say no and yes to that question. Did they blow a head gasket? Yes. I think uh, Derek Fisher explained it the best. It was the uh, the end season tournament is kind of like a playoffs atmosphere. You know what I mean? And and after the playoffs, whether you win or whenever you exit, it's like a a letdown. You know what I'm saying? It's a a cooling off period. Yeah, so you kind of just you know come down. Yeah, all the, yeah, all you, the time. You come down off of being so high from the intensity. So it was definitely that, but. I still think it was worth it because, like I said, at the beginning of the season, we still have a lot of time to catch up. And um, it's we the first. It's always good to be the first. You always remember who's first. Just like the meat man, I was going to be the first to score that touchdown at Brookstone. <laughs> hey, shout, shout, out out to to me, shout out to Neff. Shout out to Shout out to Neff. You're going to always be remembered. So I would say that – um. And we're still above 500, man. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I bet you if you was willing to look and see how many games we are behind, it ain't about much. We can go on a two, three game uh, winning streak and jump back up to where we was. So I definitely I know think the it answer, was worth man, it. I ain't going to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> I go answer. I want you to answer. <laughs> it ain't so, much. It ain't much. It ain't much. I, I think it was worth it, man. Cause like I say, we, we the first. You always going to remember the first. I think it was big for the NBA, for the Lakers to win it, to take it serious. Because if you have any Joe Blow team, if you had the, the Pacers and OKC, it may have not had the ratings and the impact that they wanted. So I think it was good for the NBA. It was good for the Lakers nation. And um, I think it was worth it because we got time to come back. This is what I think. I, I, I think that um – I think that with with we'll start with the Spurs. Got the Spurs games. Um, LeBron hit twenty three. The New York game, Davis had the high thirty two. Chicago, LeBron twenty five. Uh, Minnesota, Davis thirty one, and uh, Thunder, LeBron forty. LeBron, and then I think I had another game. Um, that they had here on the bottom. I think Davis hit 41 against Indiana. LeBron can't keep operating at that pace to me this early in the season. And not basically the same thing that happened at game time. It's going to happen on the back end like it just happened during the end-season tournament. The guy's a machine, man. <coughs> he can keep it up. He got father time in the headlock, man. You know what I'm saying? He got it in the, finger, the, the figure four. Know what I'm saying? He can continue this pace. Now the minutes right now he's averaging um he's averaging 27 minutes a game. Oh, he's, he's averaging more than everybody except I think Davis. No, no, no. I'm sorry. That's game play. He's aver ooh he's averaging 34 minutes a game. Exactly. I would he, like to he, see he's that go down. He's averaging yeah, the highest. That's, he's that's, about that's, a, that's too high. I think it's like a, a minute or two between him and Davis. Yeah, oh, and that's yeah. too much. It's too much. I, I definitely like to see the minutes go down. He doesn't play back-to-back -back games. Uh, like I said, we just beat OKC the other night with a new lineup. I like the lineup because we're bigger, we're more physical. Oh, yeah, they did bench one of your boys. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, but they benched them, but we do need more firepower coming off the bench. So now you have D. Russ and Austin Reeves coming off the bench. That's the, yeah, that you know what I'm saying? So that's a lot of firepower. That's so, probably, so who they put in that's front probably of, um, almost thirty points a game coming up. Who they, who they, who they uh, put in front of D uh, D Russ? I wanna say they put Vanderbilt they put Vanderbilt in this place. Cause Prince was already starting, so they uh yeah, I wanna say they put uh Vanderbilt in the place of him. 
Because Cam Reddish already had been in the starting lineup, so it was Vanderbilt. Oh, and Cam he's starting? He's a defensive player, and he's tall, lanky. I, I didn't know Cam was starting. Yeah, Cam Reddish starting, yeah. Oh, that's big. How long that boy stayed in college? He stayed in college one year, didn't he? I, I think Cam was a one and done one. Yeah, I think he. I, I, I believe so. Wait, what, the Duke? Where'd he go? I believe he did go to Duke. He's one and done. All yeah. right, then, man. So, you feel like. The attorney, I mean, you you, you get you hedged your answer, really, to be honest with you. You kind of hedged it. No, 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 no. Was it worth it? Yes. Was there a cool down? Yes. It's not really a hedge. It's, I'm answering the but, question. Well, do you think that they've came up out of it yet with this one win? Or are you, are you going to have yeah, to see some more consistency? Yeah, one win was just the last win when the lineup got tweaked. We'll see. We'll see Christmas Day. They got a hard game against Boston. So, if we can just be competitive. Is it on the road? No, nah, we at home. Oh, Okay. What's um what's what's Boston in the um in the East, you know? I wanna say Boston is number two in the East. In the East say. behind um uh, it might be number hold one. What? Minnesota. I think we said Minnesota's number That's one. That's it, they in the West. That's right. Yeah. Let's look it up real quick then. Let's yeah, look, look it up, it up real quick. Let's see. I wanna say Boston. But like I said, we, we, they're gonna have to who twenty two and six. So I I I think it's So who who um who And their favorite to win. Yeah, they are number one in the um East. Yeah, they are number one. Boston is number one. But who who's um who swaps out Brian? Who's gonna guard Brian? I mean, no, who's uh, who's number two is like like when Brian come out, who who come in? Hachimura. Talking, talking, talking. Yeah, Hachimura. He, he he's the next big body coming up. Yeah, I don't think Brian gonna be able to hold at that pace, man. Meet with these kind of he's putting up some points, man. I mean, in, in losses, uh, I mean, thirty one is pretty cool, twenty thirty two, but uh, and, I mean, I, you can't ask for too much more from Davis. He he he's, he's marginal, top and, end and marginal. He's been playing games. He's been playing. Yeah, exactly, top end marginal. I mean, he, <laughs> we still. I, I think he should be where LeBron is at every game. That's what I think. I agree. I agree. LeBron should never have the most. It should always be Anthony I having agree. the most uh, points, and LeBron up under him. That's that's, that's the, not a five that's games the out of four. He should have the most. Of course. Yeah. Even in a losing battle, like I said, it's it's LeBron, 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 LeBron. But well, we got the pause though. We got the pause. Well, we got. We just can't gloss over this. The man scored forty last night. He's turned thirty nine next week. <laughs> seven rebounds, seven assists. He was five for five from the three point line. He didn't miss a free throw. One hundred. He was sixty five percent, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. We can't gloss over that, guys. And when the next time he gonna do that? When the next time it's gonna happen? Probably the next game, knowing old Goat James. <laughs> you probably do it the next game. So, so one thing about him, he love that stage. He love the bright lights. <laughs> see, one thing about, about, about LeBron teammates, they can't handle that spotlight. You see a lot of guys, they'll play with LeBron. They don't do well, but soon they go to other teams, they damn near like superstar. They can't handle them lights. LeBron is made for the lights. They can't handle the lights, and they can't handle what comes along with being a Laker. LeBron tell made for it. Well, that's the case why there's so many hardcore Lakers don't like LeBron. Most hardcore fakers don't like LeBron because they're <laughs> scared. Faker. They're scared. Uh, you, you, you heard him? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's one of the main ones. I think they scared. I bet we you we need to get him on here, too. I call him out. I, I call Juke, I'm gonna, hey, we're going to get you on the show, and me and you going to go toe-to-toe, boy. Cause hey, I already Juke, know, cause trying he, to hate on you, Juke. I ain't, no, 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 I ain't hate on I'm, I'm going to answer from his perspective because he's one of those guys you're talking about. They don't want him to eclipse, nor can he eclipse Kobe legacy. Mm. And he's not trying to eclipse Kobe's legacy. He got Kobe's blessing. He's just trying to be a Laker, win championships, get some of that Hollywood, L.A. money. Hey. You know, we know what it's all about. And that's it. Kobe is Kobe. 20 season, five ring. Kobe that guy, man. One of the best, one of the, Once if not the Lakers, best. Always a Laker. <laughs> Kobe that guy. Always played for the Lakers. It's Kobe and Magic. Even Kareem played for other teams. So Kobe and Magic, those are the greatest Lakers. Braun would never be that. 
but Kobe fans are so triggered, think that he's trying to do that. When oh, so you not. saying it's the Kobe fans? Yeah, it's the Kobe fans so that LA are saying Laker fans is Kobe fans. Yeah, but most Laker fans are diehard Kobe fans. <laughs> No, I'm saying. Okay, the two I mean, and two are intertwined. I mean, you got you got some people like like what what about uh what what about uh uh like like Wayne, what about Craig? He hates LeBron. Oh, so he want a real? Yeah, he want on. <laughs> yeah, Craig well, like LeBron. He different. Uh, Craig likes LeBron, but you know Craig Cleveland, Ohio. You know what I'm saying? He's okay. You know what I'm saying? But we gotta get all we got we gotta get all them boys on on the on the podcast. Right definitely. Man. Gotta get all them boys on there. What about what, what, what about what about Jamie? I think no. I um I don't think Jamie have a problem with LeBron. Oh, okay. No, I don't think Jamie has a problem. Okay. No. But uh, what you were saying about Jew? No, nah, just basically I was just saying Jew is one of them diehard Laker Kobe fan. He's one of them, and um he like I think he likes LeBron too, but he definitely. Kobe, LeBron down here. You know, we always used to do the Jordan and uh, LeBron debate. He's definitely Jordan, Kobe, then LeBron. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to get him on here. He's going to come get this work. <laughs> you going to let me talk, though. You ain't going to be doing all that interrupting and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah we got to go moderate. We're going to let him yeah, go. You got to moderate, man. He tried to out-talk you. He tried how he, oh, he wanted to try to out-talk you. Yeah. <laughs> man, moving on, bro, man. Um. This is the last year, and, and some people are real happy that the um, CFP, the college football playoffs, will be um, only accepting four teams. They're going to a 12-team format next year, I think. Right. Uh, but with that being said, they want to send us off in grandstanding with the four best teams in college football. But in the midst of that, uh, several teams, including the Georgia Bulldogs, yeah. which – Arguably, are still one of the top four teams. I think they are. Right. Uh, and the Florida State Seminoles. This week, right here, the Florida State Seminoles have sued the ACC. They want out, and I, I, I think there's rumors of them not playing the game. We got to find that bowl game out. The name of the bowl game um, with with um, your University of Georgia Bulldogs. So what do you think about Florida State suing the ACC? And do you know the the rumblings of, of, of or what's in the lawsuit? I hear the rumors, but do you know what's actually in the lawsuit? Uh, I was just reading an article shortly before we got on air. So the little bit I obtained, I believe it is mostly – about what happened with the college <laughs> football playoff decision. I mean, I know you probably read a little more than me, so I don't want to be, you know, uh, I, I could probably throw it back to you a little bit. Um, have you read mostly what has happened? I mean, what, what was inside of it? <laughs> I mean, what you're saying is what I heard, and, I, and I, that might have a, a part in it, but I heard is they want out is because – uh, they're not they're not being paid for what they're worth. With the money, I guess when you sign to the ACC, uh, I guess each each one of them have like a buy in. You're part of something bigger, right? And their buyout was like one thirty, but once they added some more fees on there, the buyout is five mil five hundred million. I seen that. And yeah, and they're like, and that was me. just to buy out of the, the yeah the, yeah that's just that's the buyout that's to get out. And they're saying um, they're violating, they're violating the, the antitrust laws of the ACC, and basically the number is too high. And one of the reasons that they said that they wanted to get out was because of competition. They believe it's all about money. It's all about it, money. It, it, it always come, it comes down to the money. Hey, we'll be our, our team will be getting more money for TV ratings if we played better competition. Correct. The ACC sucks. There's nobody in here that's going to bring in the big dollars, not playing the Texas, we're not playing the Oregon, we're not playing the Bama, we're not playing the Georgias. So they want out. And uh, the uh, ACC, a lot of people don't know that they sued them too. They also sued Florida State. So they, they, they both got a countersuit going against each other. And uh, the, the, the so, actual so, so. lawsuit said uh, that they want out. 
So what is the ACC countersuit? What is that about? I think the countersuit is, is more about you're messing up the money and, and, and you're not following the, the contract because it says about the contracts. Okay. They're basically they're in a breach, nutshell, they're in a breach a contract. They want to, yeah, <laughs> they, they want to <laughs> breach the contract. <laughs> ACC, like, no, 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 you can't, you can't breach. And the reason they want to breach the contract, they're like, hey, man, you know, when we, when we start this thing, because they, they've been in the ACC for over 30 years, um, Florida State had. Whoa. They're like, hey, um, yeah, Florida State's been in the ACC for over 30 years. And they're like, when we start this thing to where we're at now, I don't know how long the contract will. Obviously, it's a 30-year contract or plus. Maybe it's 50 years. I don't know. But it's still binding. And they're like, everything's different now. TV rings. We want more. We want to play better. We want out. And ACC said, nah, we're not having it. What are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts is shit rolls downhill. I believe if the committee would have let Florida State in, we would have never heard about this. Thank you. We would have never, ever heard about this. But also, from Florida State, from what I've read and what I heard, you have a few ACC representatives, um, I guess executives, what we can call them, that are on the committee. The, they're on the CFP committee. They're on the C, uh, CFP committee. So I guess Florida State is kind of like, man, y'all even put us out in favor of Alabama? So, you know, maybe they just felt hurt. I mean, has, has that been confirmed that ACC? Oh, it's definitely confirmed that so there's ACC. Because there's several coaches – I think they're coaches or athletic directors or something like that that's on that committee. Yeah. So did every one of them that's in that because I, I think ACC got what six, three, three six people, three six some. I, I saw the list. It's a couple of them from ACC. Did all of them do it or just did one do it? You feel now, me? Now, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I don't know how each of them voted, but we just know the outcome. So, so it, at, at least one. At least one. But. I actually listened to the um, the court proceedings, okay. and, and, and uh, they didn't mention that. They, they mentioned, and I know they didn't read the whole. They didn't read the whole thing. They just kind of like read the header, and and, and that's what they said: um, violating antitrust laws. And uh, it, they basically took it's a penalty. It's a penalty for them wanting to leave because the contract came over. And they're just saying that's too high. Like, yeah, it is. It like is. Five hundred okay. billion is. I mean, five hundred million is just too high to leave the con- um, leave the conference. We should be able to leave uh, for the, for, I guess, for the one thirty. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure. Um, maybe we just don't know, but this is the first time I have heard a monetary value put on a team exit in a conference. I don't know how much. Oh, they, they said this is the, this unprecedented. They they did say this is unprecedented. Yeah. Um, that it's never happened before, that uh, a team is 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 trying to do this. So it's all foreign right now, and I guess they're gonna have to figure it out. That that definitely is gonna go to a judge, and they're gonna have to figure it out. But I I, I got a I got a I got a conspiracy theory. <laughs> you you want to hear it? Yep. <laughs> I think they're making a smoke screen because they really don't want to play Georgia because Georgia going to dog them out so bad. The theory of them not being able to compete is going to be exposed. So the way they keep from having um, your team exposed to lackadaisical play is not to play and to make up this fabulous um, lawsuit that you you can't break you, you got to break a contract it's like having a prenup sign already and you're like you know what I don't want to sign anymore I don't want to go by the conditions of what I signed and uh, <laughs> they're trying to get they're trying to get out of the game with Georgia and this is the best way to do it behind a smoke screen that's what I think thoughts <laughs> I agree with that I mean it, it definitely could be a smoke screen but 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 I think. First of all, only thing Florida State, only thing y'all got to do, y'all don't have to beat us. The only thing y'all had to do was just compete, compete. with us to show y'all belong. Could get what? 
Georgia ain't 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 Michigan. Uh, we ain't Michigan. So if 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 if, if we beat y'all by two touchdowns or something, who's to say that y'all couldn't compete with Michigan? Facts. I mean, just uh, uh, I know each season is different, but last season TCU. The the, the the team that was a laughing stock after after um Colorado beat them the game one, they put fifty points on Michigan. Woo. So so and, and the year before that, we beat the brakes off of Michigan. So playing Georgia ain't the same as playing Michigan. So so we were more like a, a litmus test. Y'all didn't have to beat us. Y'all could have just competed to show if, if y'all play us tough, y'all Y'all can that's probably my beat brother. Michigan. He get it. You get it. That's that's the problem. You, you get it. If y'all just would have played Georgia, y'all could have showed how great y'all was. Yeah. It's like, you know what? We ain't where we want to be, but we finna put this thing on these dogs to show y'all we was the ones. Kind of like when Bama beat, who we beat? Kansas State? Who, whoever we played. Yeah, I believe it was Kansas yeah, State. I know that, one yeah, of y'all. We yeah, yeah, them out. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. that. Y- y'all had y'all chance to show y'all greatness, and now – Y'all acting like um, Ice Cube uh, and and um, uh, what the boys of the hood? Give me my brother's ball back, you man, because you can't play. Y'all, y'all act like some like some squares, man, about the, the situation. And I know that I don't think it's the players, man. Cause I know players got that competitive edge. It might be some players, but you know, for the most part, players hyped up. They want to play, but the administration and and and, and probably high level coaches, uh, staff, and athletic director, they really tripping that Florida State, man. I, I think they're. They're being real. Uh, it's lack like for a better word. They they being real pussified about the situation. Mm. I mean, you don't think how you think Bama felt last year? The impossible had to happen for Bama to, to have a chance, and it all of it happened. And TCU, I never forget. I'm keep bringing up my brother. I already know what I'm about to say. Bro, I got to interrupt. I just can't let you do it. They lost. TCU lost, and but, they did not. But you not can't compare drop. Bama. <laughs> To Florida State because Alabama lost two games last year. Man, it's still wrong. Two. Time. But but look, boy. Florida but, State lost zero games. They won a conference championship. Alabama, y'all didn't win y'all conference championship last season. You didn't win. I understand that. But Apples at, and oranges. At the, end, at the end, when we were in the gauntlet, Everybody said certain things had to happen for Bama to have a chance to make the playoff. Because the playoff ain't about, I keep telling I keep telling my young brother, it's not about losses. It's about at the end of the season, who are the best four teams. And I think at the end of the season, I mean, Bryce had got hurt, but not to mention, shot the big um, Jalen uh, Miro for them two wins that he did uh, last year. Everybody forgot about those wins while um, Bryce was hurt. I mean, he he been, he been that guy to me. Shot um, Jalen had to throw that in there, but yeah, we ran the gauntlet at the end, and we were right there. This team lost and didn't even drop none. So I said all that to say, um, Florida State, you could have been great to me, and I hope y'all still do play, man. You know, now it seems like you know if y'all do play, it's gonna be tainted. Somebody gonna say, oh, y'all didn't really give. It. You know what I'm saying? If y'all lose, get blowed out. People are going to say, y'all didn't start y'all starters or y'all didn't give it to y'all. So, if you do decide to play Florida State, give it 100%, man. Go out go out like a seminar on, on the raging battlefield of the plains or the swamps. <laughs> Don't go out weak, man. Don't go out weak, man. Any last words about Florida State? Nah, man, that's basically it, man. Um, I, I mean, they, they did. They, 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 they won the ACC undefeated. Let's give them some. Let's give them their flowers. Right. They um they beat three top twenty teams, and I think they beat uh they had one top five win with LSU. Uh, they had a sixteen win with Duke, and they had a uh, number fourteen win with Louisville. Those were their uh, most notable wins. Uh, but all I gotta say is um next year, well, nobody had no excuses. It'll be all it'll be twelve teams. All the conference champions should be in there. And uh, if you on your shit, even a team, I feel like even a team next year with two losses still might might be able to get it in. It just depend on your conference and, and and how the numbers fall because it's going to be some competitive conferences with everybody merging, with the Pac-12 ending, dissolving, whatever they got going on. 
Uh, the SEC is getting um, the SEC is getting bigger. Some more teams are coming to the SEC. I know Texas is coming. I think, and I forgot who else is coming, but I know we got some more coming. So it's going to be a crowded field, a lot of competitive, a lot of competitiveness in the, all of the conferences, from the SEC to the Big Ten to the Big Twelve. Not quite so sure about the ACC. <laughs> Seems like people are trying to actually leave the uh, ACC. So, guys, make sure you follow, subscribe, like, push notifications on all content. We're on TikTok. We are on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We're also on X, formerly known as Twitter. So, make sure you follow us on all those platforms. Bro, you're back, man. You're back. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Um, in closing, man. It's almost that time, bro. It's almost that time for the CFP playoffs. You know, we are real excited, man. And I, I, I don't like people who who d- don't want Bama to win, but they said it for the SEC, man. Kind of kind of bored my blood a little bit, bro. I'm like, hey, man, still SEC, man. I'm like, you know, if it was George, I would be rooting for George. And folks, I'm I know y'all win. Yeah, yeah. If it was George, you want us to die. Nah, I, I win. I'm, I'm down. I'm down with the dogs, man. You know, I'm down with the dogs. But uh, I think Alabama is going to dominate Michigan. I they think should. I, I, they I, should. I, 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 I think Michigan haven't seen. <laughs> I think they ain't seen what, what we bringing, bro. I think that we're way more physical. We're bigger than anything that they've seen this year. And I think that's going to be too much for the Wolverines. And um, I like Bama. 28 to 17. That's my final. That's my final one right there. 28 17. What about you? I definitely think Michigan has not seen a team like Alabama. But, um, and Alabama has seen a team as physical as Michigan. With Facts. Georgia. Facts. But, man, Michigan is physical too. They are very, very physical, they hungry. They have a why. They have a why. Oh, Bama ain't got a why. Why would everybody run off Mill Road? We ain't got a why. Yeah, yeah, but I think their why is bigger. Cause you know they win in the game. For we, being cheaters, that's yeah. their why. Yeah. Being cheaters. Yeah. Yeah. Why you cheat? <laughs> <laughs> but did the players know that? You know what I mean? So I, I we don't know what the players knew. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm gonna play on that team, I got to show. Hey man, we don't know what the coaches were doing, but we wasn't doing it. So we gonna show y'all. And well, I, I think Alabama gonna win. They should win, but I got it. Eh, I got it probably about the same. Thirty-one twenty-eight. I said about thirty-one twenty-eight. I believe it's gonna be a little closer than um your score, but Alabama should pull it off. Roll Tide. And the last one, man, Texas over Washington. Um, and the reason I got Texas over Washington, I, told, I know Washington got their um, panic scared. Once again, they, they're in the Pac-12, man. And I, I don't think you – no, know, they beat Bama. I, I don't think Washington has seen nothing, nothing. Uh, and I'm not – so I haven't watched too many Texas games this year, but I did watch a lot of their highlights. And they, even their quarterback, I think, he was in the run for the Heisman or in the talk at one time. Quinn Ewers, I think his name is. Yeah. So uh, I, I think it's going to be bully ball. I think Texas is going to be real physical. And I like the uh, I like the Longhorns um, over the um, Huskies 30 to 27. Okay. I think it's going to be an upset. Oh, I believe it's going to be an upset because um, a lot of people said the Pac-10 were top to bottom, one of the best conferences in the uh, league this year. Even though me and you kind of debunked that once we ran through the SEC uh, schedule. But um, they definitely had some of the top teams this year. So I, they have had tough competition. They undefeated. What Texas lost to uh, – Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Oklahoma is a Pac-12 type team. You know, they throw the ball a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I believe um, I think it's going to be an upset, man. I believe. What? Yeah. <laughs> I believe Washington is going to beat them. High scoring game. 
I'm talking about um I believe maybe put a put like, put a number on it. Put a number on that. Oh, it's gonna be high scoring, man. Maybe something like fifty one to uh, forty two types, something like that. Same way uh the year before the Michigan and T I think it's gonna be a high scoring game like that. Washington's gonna pull it off in the shootout. So basically no defense. <laughs> nah, ain't no defense. Nah, boy don't play no defense. <laughs> What I said, 51 42, yeah. I believe that's about right. I'm going with Washington, man. Yeah, I wish I had my pen here. I'm going I'm to write, I'm, I'm write it down. Okay, yeah, write it down. So I'm going to go back and screw up the show. I'm going to write both your picks down. The Alabama pick, you said Alabama win, and you like Washington over Texas. So I, I got I'm, your I'm picks. I'm going to predict that Georgia score if um if the boys don't want to play. What's, yeah, what's going to be your Georgia score? 50 to 0. <laughs> <laughs> you think he gonna put up a fifty pack on them? Hey man, them boys don't they don't come to play. They feel like ah, oh, you know, it ain't because that we that much better than them. I don't think they gonna come to play. I believe the coaches done ruin their morale. You know, though. it ain't no big deal to Florida State, man. I don't, I don't think they had an attitude. But we gonna show them. I believe they had that attitude. Like man, we finna boycott, man. They don't deserve us. That or they know that they ain't got the depth, and they gonna lay down. I hope they don't lay down. It's still going to be bad for college football if they lay down. But yeah. um, I like Georgia in a blowout win. Uh, but if I'm Georgia and and, and, and they don't have their top players out there, we already know they had their quarterback, I'm not playing Carson Beck. I'm not playing some of my top guys. Why? Georgia got a, a decent number two quarterback? Hmm? Georgia yeah. got a oh, decent yeah. number two quarterback? What's yeah. the name? You know his name? No, what um, I think what, the, what the, the what vendor, what the vendor, uh, going in the portal, ain't he? Yeah, I think he going to the portal. But we have another guy's been backing up for a minute. Man, if you want to say his name, I'll call it out because him and Carson Beck was. I start with it. S. Him and Carson Beck used to um kind of play behind um Stetson Bennett a lot. Ah, what's my guy's name? If you want to say it, I'll call it out. But I believe he he gets the nod. Mm. I'm gonna I'm 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 pull it up. Well, we will see. Well, we we done, bro. That's it, man. Another episode is in the box. Brother versus brother podcast, man. Make sure y'all like, follow, subscribe on YouTube. Like us on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and X, the app formerly known as Twitter. <laughs> bro, until the next time, man. I think I think you you did all right then on this one right here, man. You you had some good points, man. I I, I still think LeBron gonna um, blow a head. Stockton Gunner, who? Stockton Gunner. Oh, the quarterback. Yeah. Okay, Stock Stockton. What did you say his name was? Stockton Gunner. So maybe we, we we might see Stockton. Um, we might see him regardless, huh? Or you think Carson? I don't know, man. Carson might be like, I want to goddamn play, man. Like bump that. Oh, man, I wouldn't do it, man. Why? I mean, what? especially if they ain't, you know what I'm saying? If they ain't, so basically, if they don't, if they don't, if they don't stand up, meet the challenge of their rival, if they exactly. don't come like that, they ain't we, coming we gonna, out like Rocky, man. Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna dumb it down too. Exactly. That way, it'd be an even more competitive game. Yeah. yeah. We'll see what Kirby do. Kirby might go stomp the dog shit out of him. Yeah. <laughs> like, no one Kirby, that way he'll like, do. I ain't got nothing to do with y'all got yeah. going on, T. <laughs> Kirby might want to show the reason why we should have been in the top four. Like, he might have got <laughs> for a totally different aspect, man. Yeah, you right. Well, man, we'll be on the eve of the CFP next uh, week. So uh, make sure you, uh, you be ready, man. It's going down, bro. You got me? Huh? I said we're going to be on the eve of the CFP next week at this same time. We'll be on the eve of yep, it. Sure will. So uh, we're we going to check in for the uh, CFP show on the Brother vs. Brother podcast. And we're out. Peace. Yeah.